I am Christina Costa and I'm the, the Learning and Research Technologies Manager um, for the Academic Development Unit. Uh, I'm Dennis McGrath, I'm the Learning Technology Innovations Manager for the Academic Development Unit. And we're here to discuss ePortfolios in the context of the PGCAP core module. So Dennis, what, what was your experience of using ePortfolios? I quite enjoyed using it actually. It gave me a kind of a, well, it gave the work that I was doing a kind of an organic quality, which meant I could build on it, I could do it when I wanted in my own time. And it meant that I could chip in and out of it when I needed to, rather than having to devote lots and lots of time and blocks to it. So it kind of lent itself to sort of incrementally add to it and add bits and pieces to it. So I quite enjoyed that aspect. But what about you? Um, I, I actually used the, that system, the, the portfolio system yeah. that has been used by PGCAP, but I've, uh, I've, um, I've, I'm a blogger myself, and, uh, sure, yeah. uh, which is what the, the portfolios are, our blog. And, uh, and having observed the, the, the students uh, um, you know, uh, throughout the, the different uh, uh, core editions, core module editions, it's been really interesting to kind of look at how uh, people capture their practice and how that becomes a kind of a, uh, something that evolves with time and, and yeah. kind of shines through their maturity uh, yeah. in, in the way they kind of uh, uh, grow uh, within the, the program. So that, that has been really interesting to see how uh, they, uh, the core module has uh, enabled people to develop a, a kind of a reflective uh, account of their yeah. practice and becoming reflective practitioners. I actually find that it gives it a, a level of granularity that you yeah. don't get with sort of some of the assessments and stuff. Because while well, you've got a thing in your head, you go on and you add to it, and that way you build up a rich sort of immediacy to, to how you're feeling at the time, and it gives it kind of a, a much more realistic quality to the work you do, and a much more validity in that respect. Exactly. And having taken part in the professional discussions um, as, as one of the uh, panel members, it was really interesting to be able to kind of read through uh, what people have been doing at the core module and kind of get a sense what kind of practitioner this person was That's and right. what kind of philosophies uh, they had adopted as part of their learning um, and, and they kind of implemented that in their teaching. And, and so it was really interesting to see that uh, the interplay between that and, and the, the one of the most interesting things that I found that it was totally unexpected was, was the, the Lego. Build yes. something that reflects your journey through this process. I thought, this isn't going to work, but it was the most interesting bit about it. And the fact is that people were surprised at their own models and why they built these things. And, and it, there was so much richness of detail, and you said, by inner understanding of their professional practice, what's sort of person they are, what makes them tick, and the kind of psychology that's informed how they've done things. It was really, really interesting. Actually, I, I have to agree with you. When I kind of saw that, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I was never. It really takes you, you it outside. Was unexpected, it, takes, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. it was really unexpected and takes you outside of your comfort zone. But at the same time, it was really interesting to see how people uh, kind of use that to capture their learning yeah. in, uh, through metaphors. So, but there was a truthfulness to it that you don't get when, when you're writing sort of stuff about yourself that's. Yeah. It, it kind of catches you off guard, but in a good way. But then, then having the feedback, and then immediately submitting the, the, the sort of evaluation afterwards, captured that richness, and it kind of gave it a much more kind of a authentic quality. I think I thought I'll, I'll be using That's it true. again in my own work going, going forward. I must admit. Yeah, and and the other thing that I I think it's also too important to highlight in the portfolios as I was reading through them was the interaction that I saw uh, that started between. Participants and how people were kind of feedback, you know, giving feedback yeah, to each other yeah. or, or just giving some kind of comment. There was a constructive uh, quality yeah. to it, the work, wasn't it? Even though it was a singular piece of work mm -hmm. from them, it had that kind of constructive quality where they were kind of working together on it at a distance, and, you know, this kind of interplay between the participants. Yeah, I thought you kind of add some kind of a level of validation of, of your reflections. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah. And, and and kind of boost your confidence in a way, and you know, I can see now Definitely. some of the people that are still blogging about it. Uh, that you know, it kind of. So that's the other thing is it's a continuous way of kind of keeping yeah. uh, reflecting on, on your work beyond the PG cap. So um, I kind of. Yeah, I mean, f from my own perspective, it's provided a kind of a building block for me to be able to either a dissect what I've done and build something new from it, or if I wanted to start blogging properly, I could take the content put it out there, polish it up a little bit and use it as a basis for some ongoing work. 
So it gives you kind of a brand then, doesn't it? Exactly. So yeah. it kind of helps build that digital identity and a kind of the portfolio of practice that, yeah. you know, uh, now uh, starting teaching on uh, on some of the modules of the PGCAP, I really want to kind of uh, build on that and, and make sure that, that people engage with it, not a way that is just uh, their part of their assessment, but something that they can see as something that yeah. is constructive yeah. and that they can yeah. continue uh, beyond uh, beyond their, their assessment because and it gives them value. those connections it, yeah, and value. Yeah, it has value external to the process as well. So it's it's an ongoing thing, it's not just that right rubber stamp, you've got the PG cap off you go. It provides a basis for much deeper yeah. understanding of the practice in the, in the future, I think. So yeah, I really so, enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, me too. So in short, you know, thumbs up for the yeah, portfolio. Yeah. <laughs>